Hey YouTube, Steve here and today I'm bringing you all a video on how to program your Lionel Legacy compatible engine or TMCC. I'm going to be covering uh, just how to program your engine into your system and I'm also going to be answering a bunch of questions on what Lionel Legacy modules do because I know a lot of people out there are concerned you know what exactly does each color module represent and do for you so I'm going to show you what that is today as well but without further ado let's get started okay well for this demonstration today I'm going to be using again my KD SD70 ACE I reset it to factory settings which I will show you how to do in this video so I can show you in demonstration purposes how you would do a programming if you had gotten your engine new from the factory or if you had gotten it from either used from somewhere like eBay or just about anywhere but first we're gonna cover how to program it if it's brand new so let's get on with that okay now before I proceed into programming I'm gonna just quickly go over what each module does for the Lionel Legacy control system I have three of the types of four modules that are available for the system the only module I do not have is a black module but what a black module does is it's a writable utility module that allows you to um, download a legacy system upgrades on it and a few other cool things I'm not too familiar with that one but if you were kind of uh, really knowledgeable on how to uh, download new software for your legacy system you could use black modules in order to transfer the uh, new software from your PC that you downloaded from the Lionel website onto your legacy remote I do not have a black module with me here today as you can see but that's basically what those are writable utility modules now going by color here so next we're moving on to the blue the blue these come with your legacy system and uh, these are if you're not really good with um, programming your own writable utility module and downloading the software from Lionel's website these you can order from Lionel uh, they basically are pre-programmed uh, modules and for upgrading your system that you can uh, order in the mail from Lionel for a small fee these to me since I'm not really that good with the whole thing from downloading it from the internet and such I like using these a little bit better just in my opinion because they're just you know more convenient for me plus I don't really have the time you know to figure out exactly how to download everything from the Lionel website now never get rid of these even if you are running a more recent um, operating software because you can always reset to the old software if some for some reason the new software isn't working right for you so let's say I these are two right here are for me are version 1.3 let's say I downloaded 1.5 onto my remote and it wasn't working correctly I can go back to 1.3 if I desire so that's why I never get rid of these blue modules because they can help uh, always get you back to a different version of the legacy system software according to the instruction booklet but anyway moving on two white modules I'd have to say these are what confuse people the most because these do not come with any specific engine these are just with your legacy system these are TMCC modules okay now what these do is if you have a TMCC engine TMCC engines do not come with their own orange legacy module which I'm going to explain what that is in a minute so if you have a TMCC engine and you're trying to program it with your legacy system base to make it your life simpler you're going to want to use one of the white modules given to you with your legacy system because what they do each one has a different um, uh, uh, different does a different thing one is used for programming diesel engines which is this one right here don't know if you can see that and the other one is for programming steam engines now a lot of people what confuses a lot of people is they think Lionel modules that go with engines such as the orange one are specific to that engine like this would be paired with the engine it came with well the answer to that is you're wrong Lionel legacy modules are generic and will work with any engine okay I moved my camera a little bit to get my Katie in the shot now this orange module I'm gonna explain what these are before I go into more detail about the white modules this orange module here these come with your legacy equipped engines and allow you to program your engine to your legacy system now this one it'll say on the top which uh, engine it's for this one obviously is for my Katie SD70 ACE right here 
Now, a common misconception about these uh, modules, like I was stating earlier, is that a lot of people think that this specific orange module is paired to this specific engine. And that's where a lot of people get confused because if anybody else were to have this particular engine, this SD70EC 1988 KD, I could still lend them this module to program into their legacy system. This is not paired with this specific engine. This is just a generic module for any KD SD70 ACE number 1988. I could this anybody could use this. It doesn't have to be specifically paired to the engine it came with. Which gets me into these two modules right here. Now these are for programming TMCC engines that do not come with legacy system modules. What they do is they kind of just program a couple default settings into your legacy system so you don't have to enter them in manually. Honestly, or another thing that confuses people is you actually do not need a legacy module to run your engines. You can run them just fine without a legacy module. What it does is it programs, like I said, information about your engine into the legacy system. Now, if you don't have an orange module or any or a programming module, you can still enter all that information manually. It's just going to take you some time. With this, you can just insert it and it preloads all the information about your engine instantaneously to save you a few minutes. Now, with these, they don't program necessarily everything about a TMCC engine into the legacy system. They program just the basics, such that it's a diesel engine, that it's TMCC, etc., etc. You still have to plug in what kind of sounds it has and uh, one or two other things manually which I'll show you how to do later in this video but yeah that's basically how it does it how it works these are not specific to any engine they just help to save time when it comes to programming TMCC and legacy compatible engines to your legacy system okay hopefully that cleared up a lot of questions you may have had about Lionel legacy system modules but as I proceed further into this video I'm going to try to answer even more questions by showing you how the modules would work like as I use them. So without further ado, I'm going to show you now how to program the Lionel Legacy engines into your legacy system. Okay, the simplest way to start this tutorial would be to tell you that every legacy system compatible um, device such as engines, accessories, track pieces like switches and everything else operating cars anything that's compatible with the legacy system needs to be some way addressed and by addressed I mean some way that the legacy system can recognize that device every legacy system product such as my Katie here remembers a specific ID number that you assign it now you can use an ID up to one from one to ninety nine to program your engines. Typically when I program engines and 1 to 99 for any kind of device that you use, but typically when I program engines I like to use something that I can remember easily such as the road number on the side, although it's only a two digit number. So for my Katie I like to use the number 19 because the number on the side is 1988. It helps me remember it easier. But anyway, when you first get your Lionel engines they come with a pre-programmed address number of one. Every new Lionel engine will come with a pre-programmed address number of one, but you can always change that and let's, let me show you how to change that now. Okay, the first step in programming any Lionel engine or any legacy product, I'm, for that matter I'm pretty sure, or at least for engines, is that you need to switch the run program switch to program. Now your manual will state where that switch is. For me, on this SD70, I have it underneath the radiator vent. So I'm going to show you where that is right now. Right there. The run program switch. You need to switch it to program in order to change the engine's ID. So I'm going to do that to start off this reprogramming. Okay, with the with the engine in program and the track power turned on, let me just show you step by step how you're going to change the engine ID number from one to whatever you want. Now, let me get a better angle here so I can get a better angle on the legacy system. I'm going to turn my system on first. Now on the screen, it's lit up. These are the soft keys first of all. All the way on the right is the engine soft key. 
Now right now this is a set at engine one, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna address it, I'm gonna hit engine, I'm gonna choose the number I desire, which is 19. I'm gonna type that in, 19, and to program it into that engine, I'm gonna hit the set soft key at the bottom. Now you're gonna hear the whistle go off when I do this. That represents that the engine got the command, and it is now programmed into your Lionel Legacy system as engine 19, or whatever you named it. So that's how to change the number, but we're not done quite yet. Okay, now after you reassign the engine ID number, you can put you can turn down the track power and you can put the engine back into run, that from that run program switch that I told you about earlier. Check your manual again to see where check your manual to see where that's at. And uh, now that the track power is off, now I can now I need to program the information about the engine into my legacy system. First thing I'm going to show you how to do that using a module. But one more thing I forgot to mention. Before you can uh, reassign or program any Lionel Legacy things, you need to make sure that only one cab is in use. And by cab, I mean the remote. You cannot have other Legacy um, systems in use as you're programming. One other quick little thing I want to share with you is when you address an engine with an ID number, that ID number is saved within the engine. It is not saved on the legacy system. So if I were to take my newly programmed engine number 19 to another layout to use it with the legacy system, it, the legacy system on that layout would recognize the engine as 19, but it would not recognize it all the programmed features of the engine. So I would have to reprogram the features of that engine onto that new legacy system, but it would recognize that new engine ID because that's saved within the engine. Anyway, let's get on with showing you how to program the features of the engine into your legacy remote. Now, got my legacy remote turned on again here. To readdress that engine 19 I just created, I'm going to hit the engine soft key and type in 19 which is my newly programmed engine. Now, I gotta tell it the legacy system some information about this engine. So I'm gonna go to info at the top right here. Now, to do something, to do it with a module, I'm gonna hit load, which is the center soft key right here, and it says insert engine memory module, which is that orange module that came with my engine. The module goes on top of the system. So I'm gonna take this little cover off real, real quick here. I can get it. It's gone there pretty tight. Uh, let's see here. All right, there we go. I grab my orange engine module. I'm still in load. And I'm going to put it in the top of the remote, like so. Module inserted. UPMKT 1988. Loaded the data. I'm going to hit yes. Engine data loaded. Remove module to continue. Okay, not a problem. Pull it out. That's it. Your engine's programmed. Close the top. And that's all you'd have to do with an engine module. It now knows that it's a diesel legacy legacy rail sounds engine. I can go back to my main screen and it knows what to do. It gives me all the controls. I'm ready to run. As long as the engine's in run, remember you should have taken it out of program back there. You're ready to run. But now if you didn't have a legacy module, let me show you what you would have to do if you did not have the module. Okay, if you didn't have a module back there, and your engine came without a module, say you bought it used, you go to the same thing. You go to engine, you type in the engine's number, for me, 19. You're going to go to info again. Now, you're going to have to scroll through all these categories and um, plug in each thing about the engine. So first you're going to need to assign a name. That's on the first page here. Sorry, the screen just dimmed. And you're going to hit name, the name soft key, which is all the way on the left. To go to the next thing, you hit scroll, and you're going to tell it what type of engine it is. Right now it's a diesel, so I have it programmed right here in diesel. And you hit whatever you have, whether it's a diesel switcher, steam switcher. This can go down. There's a lot more choices. Steam is right here. So that's how you tell what kind of engine it is. Here you tell the control type, whether it's cab 1, TMCC, or legacy. Cab 1, I think, is conventional mode. Right now I got plugged in legacy because I, it's a legacy compatible engine and you're going to have to tell it the type of rail sounds it has. Mine is legacy rail sounds. And that's all there is to it. So if you had a legacy module, again, and that would save you all that time. When you name your engine, you use the uh, 
the red dial at the bottom to scroll through letters and you just scroll through all the different letters to name your engine. Now when you use one of those white modules like I said, let me turn this off really quick. When you use one of those white modules like I said, you shouldn't have to manually program the rail sounds your engine has as well as a few other things. So just run through that list that I showed you to, pre to program all of that um, in order for your engine to run correctly. But anyway, now let me show you how to clear an engine's data off your remote. Okay, now let's say I wanted to clear all that data I just programmed in off my remote. Again, I'm gonna go back to engine 19, which is already on there, and uh, I'm gonna go to info again. Now, all the way on the right, there's a little clear soft key right there. You see that? All you have to do is hit clear, and it'll say, uh, are you sure? You would hit yes. All the info about that engine is going to be cleared off your remote. All the, thi all the things the legacy module or that you put in there is going to be cleared off the remote. The engine, however, is still going to be recognized as engine 19. That doesn't go away until you change the, change the um, ID number yourself. Or if you... Um, um, reset your engine, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, let's say I bought this engine used and I didn't know the ID number that somebody had pre-programmed into the engine. Now, if you have an engine manual, um, just look in the manual and it, what, and it does tell you the specifics on how to reprogram your engine. But I'm going to kind of run through a quick guide here on how to do that. So in order to do that, the first thing we're going to need to do is put the engine in program again. So let's do that now. Okay, so I put the engine in program and turned track power back on. Now, when you would want to reset your engine is, like I said, if you don't know the engine's ID number, or if you want to sell your engine, I recommend doing this for the ease of your customer. Uh, put the engine back at ID 1 for them to more easily um, understand the directions, because the directions all address the uh, engine as I, uh, ID 1. So with the engine and program, I'm going to again go to engine, I'm going to program it as one, and I'm going to hit set again. That gets a short blast of the whistle, uh, telling that the engine got the command and it is now programmed as engine one again. Hit engine again, hit aux one, and your engine's going to have a different number depending on what kind of an engine it is. For this engine, it's two. So that just reprogrammed all the sounds and restored uh, factory settings for the lights, sounds, and just about everything on the engine. Now once you do that, you're going to want to power down the track and put it back in the run. Okay, I just powered down the track and I put the engine back in run. One thing about after reprogramming your engine is you want to put it back in run after waiting 10 seconds after you power down. Now like I said about the, uh, the whole reprogramming thing, your manual is going to tell you the specifics on how to do that. And the section that's under is, um, hold on, let me find it. Reprogram your engine to restore features. Now, like I said about the, uh, when, when I hit engine and I hit aux 1, it says enter 2 for this particular mo locomotive. It's the same with that with my big boy. I'm not sure how many engines hit 2, but remember, check your manual and it'll tell you the specific steps and the specific number to hit to reprogram the sounds and the, uh, the lights. So be sure to check your manual on the specifics for reprogramming your engine. Uh, Alright, that just about does it for this video. Hope I answered some questions you may have had about modules and uh, programming your engines. But uh, if there's any questions you still may have, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer it as soon as possible. But uh, I appreciate your view on this video. I hope this video helped you out as much as I could. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.